I thank you. The debate on whether the president's move to nominate persons to the positions of Chief Justice, Attorney General, Director of Public Prosecutions and Controller of Budget had raised tempers in an already polarized political environment. But the speaker's ruling appeared to calm the situation, at least for the time being. I accordingly decline to make a determination as to whether or not the nominations transmitted to my office by the Office of His Excellency the President were or are not constitutionally arrived at. Today, the Speaker secured an appointment to the President to discuss the matter further. But later, as he met diplomats from the European Union, he confirmed that he had met the President, but declined to speak about the nature or content of the discussions. I want to tell you we did not have a written agenda. In his ruling, Marende appeared to throw back the challenge to the two principals to go back to the negotiating table over the dispute. A more collegiate and participatory process is required not only as a matter of natural justice and sound conduct of public affairs, but also as a requirement of the Constitution. On his part, the Prime Minister says he will be meeting the President in due time over the matter. It's a storm in a teacup, and um, I think we will sort them out. We must now move with speed to ensure the new constitution is implemented without sideshows and without playing to the gallery. While the High Court outrightly ruled that the nominations were illegal, the Speaker had a carefully scripted ruling. Marende managed to wade himself out of the murky waters of a ruling that pitted him against two political divides which had taken headline positions on the President's nominations. The view that it can fall to another organ, whether the executive or the judiciary, to determine for Parliament a matter before Parliament is, to my mind, constitutional heresy. The country now awaits the outcome of the deliberations now taking place in the departmental committees of finance as well as that of justice and legal affairs. Sylvia Chabet, Citizen Weekend.